Hi guys, welcome back to my excuse guide. So on this week, we don't get the abilities awakening. Instead, we get a new banner and story event, which is strange because it usually happen on the last week of the month. Anyway, let's talk about the first five stars character, Nameless Gunner Jake. So he's a CG character like Pyro Glacial Laswell and Lotus Mage Fina. He's kind of like Baltir because his main weapon is a gun and he also able to imperil many elements. The biggest difference is Baltir is a finisher but nameless gunner Jake able to become chainer or finisher. He is also pretty good because he has innate dual wield so like Pyro Glacial Laswell he is a newbie friendly character. I said he can become finisher or chainer but if you take a look on his LB then I think Gumi want to make him into a finisher. Also it seems that he doesn't have any real partner for a perfect chain. However for a finisher I think Pyroglacial Laswell is better than him because of higher innate attack boost. Also let's not forget other double hander finisher like Cloud. So my conclusion is he is not a must have character. His trust master reward is pretty good though. It is good for your AOE or even single target tanker. It gives you nice amount of defense and spirit. However, I think the best feature is to counter physical attack with 3 LB crystals regen. This is nice for your tanker if your tanker has good LB for example Wilhelm because yeah Wilhelm has very good LB but yeah the effect I mean the counter effect only can be triggered once per turn so it is not that good too okay for MP absorbing feature I'm not sure whether this only work for black magic or also can work for magical abilities if it works only for magic, I mean black magic, then I think it is kinda useless because the enemies rarely use black magic. Okay, so yeah, they use black magic sometimes, but for most of the times, they use abilities with magic as the base of their damage. So, yep, okay, good trust master reward, but in my opinion, not a must have. There is another 5 stars on this banner, Emperor Shira. In my opinion, he is the real MVP on this banner, not the CG Jack. He is a chainer, too bad that he doesn't have innate dual wield. But even without dual wield, he can get 100% attack boost which far surpassing nameless gunner Jack. Not only that, he deals extra 50% damage against dragon, demon, and plant. Like you know that those type of enemies are common, okay? Too bad that like nameless gunner Jake, he doesn't seem to have real chaining partner. I hope that yeah, both of these characters can chain perfectly but from the Japan data, they are not match each other okay so yeah Shira is like Nyx a fire chainer however his chaining skill is more damaging than Nyx and the fire imperil effect is bigger it is 60% instead of 50% he also has strong AOE attack called hell shaft so it deals 4.6 times fire damage to all enemies he also able to give all characters 80% defense and spirit buffs which means he is very useful as a placeholder or backup buffer so if you use Bard as your buffer then Emperor Shira is very good when one or more your of your characters die okay like you know that the Bard buff cannot affect the resurrected character okay so you can use him to rebuff your dying member okay very very good and what I like the most from him is the trust master reward 
Basically, it is 50% attack boost when you equip sword and light armor. The health boost is nice, but yeah, I think the biggest impact is attack, okay? Because so far, sword user only can rely on Dark Knight Soul for mastery, okay? And they need to equip heavy armor, but now, okay? Very good. Also, I hate to say about the future, okay? For your info, Emperor Shira 7 stars form is rated high on Ultima. Ultima is, yeah, like Japanese XPS wiki, okay, if you don't know about Ultima. Not for CD Jake though, okay, so Emperor Shira is really good. If I'm not mistaken, Emperor Shira is rated 97 and Jake only 92 or I forget okay you can check the Ultima so yeah those are the five stars characters on this banner I really hate when there are two five stars in the banner anyway good luck if you want to pull one of these characters now let's move to the four stars base Ozeta so she is a tanker I think the best description for her is poor man's Wilhelm even her provoking skill is called Mime Impregnable. The effect is only 70% provoke. But you don't need to worry because she has innate 50% draw attack which will make her have yeah 100% provoke rate. This skill also gives you 25% damage mitigation. So yeah, pretty good provoker for for stars class she has good lb too okay and good regen ability maybe you say kaknyazu let me be honest here i prefer her than kaknyazu because i think after my impregnable if you really to defend that much okay i mean if you really need to worry about the damage you can simply use guard and i think okay i think the effect is better than kaknyazu I haven't tested it, okay? That's why I say I think, okay? C, also able to protect one character from magic and physical attack. So, it is like Pirate Jack, but this time it is a real tank instead of attacker who gonna protect your healer or other key characters. So, yeah, pretty good. And she's the only one who has it, okay? Because Pirate Jack is limited character. Combine her... Oops, maybe I'm mistaken, okay. I forgot about Gladiolus, okay. I don't remember, okay. But yeah, in 4 stars, I think she's the only one who able to do this. Combine her with good AoE tanker, then your party will be durable, okay. Her trash master reward is also pretty good. It is well-balanced heavy armor. It has 75 defense and spirit, so it is useful for multi-purpose AOE tanker like Bosch or Provoker like herself because yeah Provoker will take both magic and both magic and physical attack okay and yeah in my opinion she is one of the four stars characters that you need to have and luckily there's only one four stars character on the banner now let's move to the three stars characters First is Camille. So many veteran players already have her. Now she can become six stars after the maintenance tomorrow. For you, Titus owner, congratulations because you just got a partner for him on the 10 man battles. Camille is also one of the best three stars so it is not a burden to bring her to hard battle okay she also able to imperil water resist by 50% so it is good for Titus if you equip him with brotherhood okay I know Titus can imperil 100% water resist but you need a time to gather his LB so Camille is yeah a nice placeholder okay see is also like Onion Knight who able to attack and buff your elemental resist at the same time. So yeah, pretty good for 3 stars. Her trust master reward is good for her or Tidus. It can save one slot 
of accessory or ability from dual wielding passive. Okay, pretty good character. A must have three stars, especially for Titus owner. Next three stars, Riley. So he is only max at five stars. So no need to bother with him. His trust master reward is good attack boosting accessory, but it is just too bad. Hammer is kind of yeah underrated in this game because I think there is no good hammer users on this game. I know Black Cat Lead is powerful, but I think it is kind of waste to spend your trust Mugo for only one character, okay? Which probably unusable by anyone again in the future. I think we need to wait until Gumi or Alim make a proper hammer users on this game okay so those are the characters on this banner now should you summon in my opinion yes but not for the five stars it is for ozeta i called her poor man's wilhelm but actually she even can do something that wilhelm cannot do and that's protecting one ally from both magic and physical attack it will definitely useful sometimes okay even if you don't need her as a tank then her trust master reward is definitely useful for provoker for you who aim mm, five stars character i can only say good luck okay because yeah i have said this there are two five stars and if you are free to play players then i suggest you to save your lapis Especially if you just spend a lot on Lotus Mage Vina banner. Better save your lap base for yeah, CG Nicole or little later, okay. I think it is good idea to spend your four stars ticket trying to snipe Ozeta. I suggest you to use four stars tickets maximum three times, okay. After that, if you still don't get her, then simply do daily summon pool. But if you already get her from 4 stars ticket, then no need to pull anymore, okay? Even stop from daily pull. Especially if you already have Camille. If you don't have Camille, I don't think you need to have her. She's only a must-have for Tidus owner. So if you don't have Tidus, she's only, yeah, good normal three stars attackers and you probably can get her on your future pools i don't suggest you to do the story event on this week because final fantasy 10 farming event is still happening okay so just wait till next week we probably get yeah another raid event which yeah leave your energies unused okay for Final Fantasy, say more boss, I will simply guide you later on Friday. So yep, I think that's all you need to know about this week update, okay? Thanks for watching, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X videos guide. Bye bye guys!